Hello, this is Odette Hadas from Tracepan Communications, and today's video clip will be about troubleshooting of low throughput. Before watching this video, we strongly recommend that you watch our introduction video about troubleshooting G point issues in general. So, the example that we'll be talking about today is something very typical for service providers. A customer calls and says, my network speed, my internet speed is lower than expected. It can be download, can be upload. And this disappointed customer calls you. And whoever gets this call needs to figure out where the problem comes from and then find the root cause. So in case of low throughput, if you're talking about a GPON network, the source of the problem can be anywhere in the network between the server and the customer. It can be in the customer site, the ONU, which is dropping packets, or the Wi-Fi uh, router connected to his ONU, or the PC, which is too slow to accept the maximum throughput. It can be in the pawn itself. It can be in the backbone. It can be in the server. And the first thing you need to determine is where in in the network the problem comes from and then troubleshoot it accordingly. And uh, the example we're showing here is using our test tool, the GPON Tracer. It's also shown here. And this tool will give you different indications in each case, in case the problem comes from each of the network elements. So let's take an example. You start by running a speed test and or you tell the customer to run a speed test. While he runs the speed test, you have the GPON tracer connected. And in this example, uh, we will show what happens if, um, if the speed test failed and the GPON tracer confirmed that it failed. As you can see here, you have two graphs showing you the downstream speed and the upstream speed. As you can see, the downstream speed failed uh, because during the test, at some point in time, it was below the threshold. This dashed line represents the threshold. So first of all, you confirmed what the customer is saying. The download speed is less than expected. Uh, not only that, you confirmed that the problem is either on the fiber part of the network, the pawn, or somewhere behind the pond. Because if it were, for example, uh, the Wi-Fi router being too slow, the packets into the home would be at the right speed, but then it, it would be slow down the customer's home. So just by looking at this, you've learned something. Now let's continue. By looking at the diagnosis, and what I'm showing here is actually a concept and I'm just using a G1 tracer to demonstrate it. Uh, if you're seeing that the downstream is congested on the pawn, it means that, okay, you know that the pawn is the bottleneck. And this is an example. These are just some diagnosis that you get by connecting to the pawn. And what you need to check is first, does the pawn throughput exceed a threshold level? Uh, you have very easy indications here, very clear indications with green or yellow check marks or exclamation marks. In this case, you can see that downstream data rate is very close to the maximum throughput that the pawn can accept, in this case, GPON. Uh, so this yellow icon indicates the problem. Compare this with the upstream where you have a green check mark, meaning that everything is okay. <coughs> this 764, in this example, is very far from the maximum upstream of a pawn. Now, whoever does this test doesn't need to remember what the limitations are or what the maximum throughput is. Uh, there are just thresholds that can be preset, and then the equipment will show you these uh, yellow indications whenever it exceeds the threshold. Okay, so if you see something like this, you know that you're very close to your maximum limit. Again, suggesting, suggesting that the problem is on the pawn. Another tool you have is the graphs. And the graphs show you the real-time data rate for the OLT and the ONU, the selected customer's ONU. It shows you the downstream and the upstream. In this example, we're concentrating on the downstream because the customer's 
complaint in this example was about the downstream, the download speed. Now, what we're seeing here is a very typical example of what happens when a pod is congested. As you can see, at some point in time, the data rate of the OLT increases and reaches this maximum line, which is actually the maximum throughput of, an, of a downstream. Uh, at exactly the same time, you are seeing a decrease, a drop in the throughput rate of the customer, of this ONU. Now, what this means is that at this point in time, someone is consuming the maximum throughput. And this specific customer is not getting it, which means other customers are taking the throughput. Um, probably as a result of this, this throughput dropped because other customers are all taking throughput. Either they have higher priorities in their packages, or they all have the same priorities, and then the OLT just drops the packets to serve all of them at their, uh, I would say, an equal or fair level. In any case, if you see something like this, a very clear indication of congestion. So this was just an example. If you want to learn more, you're welcome to watch our webinars on traceband.com category webinars. You can learn more about our company in www.traceband.com or contact us at info at traceband.com. If you like this video, give us a like and you're welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.